Hey guys, so my original video wouldn't post, so I decided to do this one instead. And so I want to introduce you to, look at him, he's so tiny, he loves me, Dr. Reggie Katz. Say hi, Dr. Reggie. Mm. <laughs> so this is Dr. Reggie Katz. He is, he's actually brown, he's not black and white like um, his thing says, but he's like a dark chocolate brown. And... <laughs> <laughs> he's actually seven years old although he looks seven months old don't walk on my he likes to groom himself on my keyboard don't walk on mommy's keyboard but he's actually uh, seven years old um, and I wanted to show you him but I like I said I don't want them on the camera too much like if they're not interested in being on camera I'm not interested in coercing them to be on camera so that was dr. Reggie cat he loves to get rubbed down um, I actually rub him and Beatrice, who you'll see in next week's video, probably the same clothes, <laughs> but next week's video, um, to, I rub him down um, with like coconut oil. I use the um, organic, unrefined, extra virgin one. Um, and the, re the reason I did that initially is because he had these um, patches on his skin that were just really bare. He had ear mites pretty bad, and he came from a foster home. And I just wanted to share some, uh, some stuff. I wrote some stuff down about him. So he, like I said, he loves rubs. Um, if you saw him near my neck, he really likes my scent. So um, when I when I first got him, he would always sleep where my clothes were, and then um, or when I was sleep, he'd sleep next to me on the bed. He'd smell me, and then go to sleep. Um, and then another, I'm just reading. Um, he likes to sleep in dark spaces. So in the catcher, there's these boxes that he likes to sleep in, or he'll sleep in the room with me, or he'll sleep in um, when I'm not here. He'll sleep in the room because the room is dark, and I always have the blinds up in the living room so they can see outside and get some light in. Um, I notice he has really dry skin, so sometimes I'll just I'll just see his skin, it'll be really dry. Kind of like mine, but not as, um, his is not as bad. Um, so like I said, he, even though he looks seven months, he's only five pounds. He is seven, he's a seven-year-old cat. He is a very, very active seven-year-old cat. He loves to run around, he loves to harass his sister, um, and he's just, he's just crazy active. Um, he only likes seafood, wet food, which I know sounds weird, but um, he does not eat. I have had ones with beef and chicken as the primary ingredient. He doesn't like those. He only likes ones that have seafood in them. Um, and that to me is a little odd. Um, he loves the cat house. I will show you the cat house in case you just haven't seen it in like my snaps or my other videos. That's the cat house. And there's these little nooks and crannies he likes to be in. And there's stairs, and he beats the crap out of these mice. One of these mice is missing an eye now. So, I wonder where he went. Uh, he's probably in, like, one of his favorite little hiding spots. Um, if you saw my pre-cat haul, he actually loves the vegetables. The little plush vegetables. He loves the mushroom. He loves the carrots. Um, sometimes he plays with the mice, the little, the little white mice I got, um, the leek. Like, he just loves all of those little things. I think Beatrice is more inclined to the fruit, who you'll see the next video yeah, and he just I, I just love him to death um but I wanted to just show you him he's actually the first one that picked me um which you would have seen on my snapchat had my snaps loaded I don't know why they didn't whatever um let me see if I can get him Reggie no he wants to go play with his sister because he's all about playing he's sl he was sleeping till I got in and then he cuddled with me for like 15 20 minutes he'll step over his sister even though she's bigger to cuddle with me for about 20 minutes and he'll like cradle himself in my arms and he'll purr in my ear and then he'll like touch little touch noses and then he'll like sometimes lick my like lick my nose he's like oh your nose isn't wet let me help you and then he'll just like purr sometimes he goes to sleep like that sometimes he'll just go back to sleep um and another fun fact he only I don't ever see him grooming himself when he's not near me so like if I'm in the room and I'm like right next to him on the bed He'll groom himself and then he'll groom himself to sleep but if I get up he will stop um, and he'll give me this look like I'm disappointed in you <laughs> then he will go um, wait for me to come back and then he'll continue to groom himself uh, sometimes I wonder if he's doing it for me I don't I don't know but um yeah I don't usually see him doing it other times like say I'm in the room and he's in a different room I never snuck up on him grooming himself um, and he is a voracious groomer he does groom every part of his body um, I like Beatrice. <laughs> Every part of his body, he does not shed. I have used different tools. I have used like the Kong brush for cats. I've used different combs, different brushes, and he does not 
shed i think he just has one coat i don't think he has like an undercoat um so maybe that's why um but yeah and another story so the first day i got him not the first day first two weeks right before we were going to go to the vet he got his claw stuck in the cat tree which i wanted to throw this cat tree out and it took me hours to build by the way like two hours um and he didn't say anything he, he does not have this kind of same sense of pain or he's a whole lot more tolerant than you would think um he had apparently ripped his claw and the sheath out and he had just come up to me and he was like about to go to bed and i was just like oh my god and i freaked out and i was crying i had to call my mother it was bad but he was just fine and i had spoken to the doctor and the doctor said it's fine you know he's okay because uh, he had stopped bleeding my tiny me. he just bled then and that was it there was no like continuous and it just came clean out um and i was still upset and they were like yeah it'll happen when he's trying to jump around and he does he gets his claw stuck and stuff and still likes to jump around and play around so that's why i'm always cautious with him um but yeah he is he is fine when it comes to pain i'm not i'm a sucker i'll cry if i think he's in pain like if i think he jumped too far from a too far of a height i'll go and pick him up and see if he's okay or something like that um yeah so that is reggie Dr. Reggie Katz, K-A-T-Z. And then next week you will meet Beatrice and you'll also see why they have first and last names. So I will see you guys next video.